to be led by the Spirit is nothing else but responding. What is the feeling the Spirit is giving you? To silence you, to correct you? To re There's a scripture that says, Shout with, unto God with a voice of triumph. And there's a scripture that says, Be silent and know that I'm God. How do you know what's the time for which scripture? You have to respond. God has to lead you. You're going to do it wrong. We only have two options. Respond to the Spirit or do something wrong. That's our only two options. You won't accidentally get it right. <laughs> it doesn't happen like that. And He sent the Spirit freely for the one purpose of giving you something true to respond to. That's the only reason it's here. For us to respond to it. That is, live, follow it. Paul said, be led by the Spirit. Good ideas are not holy. Aaron's two sons found that out when they decided they offer God more expensive perfume or incense than He asked for just to show Him more, more honor. You can't show God more honor than just to respond to what He does. Amen. That's the highest honor you can give to God is respond to nothing but His Spirit. Because in every situation, there's something right and wrong to do. And the Spirit always knows what it is. What's the way of God? Hard things, easy things, happy times, sad times, the Spirit always knows what's right and you can always respond to that. It, matter of fact, your nature is to respond to that in Christ. Yes. It's yes. the natural thing to do. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid to be led by the Spirit. I remember... So many years ago now, Sister Natalie called, calling me from Louisville. They were having some kind of big explosion and turmoil at Brother Delbert's and they're all spirits flying all over the place, people choosing sides. She had just got started in the Lord good and she called me from Louisville and I lived in Henderson. And she said she was she felt halfway guilty or afraid. She said, Is it okay if I feel good? <laughs> I said, it sure is, Natalie. That's what you're supposed to feel. Don't join any side. Yeah. Be like that angel, that old preacher said, when he met Joshua going into Canaan's land. And Joshua met him, and he didn't know he was an angel. He said, called him a man. He said, you on our side or their side? And he said, I didn't come to take sides. I came to take over. <laughs> Let the Holy Ghost just take over. There's no side. God. And just make it natural to do the right thing. Don't be afraid. God is not a Christian. Jesus is not a Christian. He's not a Muslim. He's nothing. He's not even human. He's been human, but He's gone. Now, He knows what we've been through because He's been here. And He's none of this. Right. Amen. No. And he's none of, and inside you, you're none of this. That's right. So let's live like that. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Mm.